Dundee in first year we split our days into morning lectures and afternoon uh, more practical things so like Mondays you'll have lectures and then uh, in the afternoon you'll go to the, the dissection lab. We're really lucky we get to have uh, teal embalmed cadavers which is really cool. Uh, Tuesday again we'll have lectures it'll either be anywhere from one to four lectures on an hour schedule time but only in like 45 minutes in reality. Uh, then we'll get clinical skills where we will get to um, practice with simulated patients so we've got these wonderful patients who uh, donate their time to us and then we get to learn how to practice on them uh, Wednesdays we have the morning lectures and the afternoons are always free so typically that's when all the university sports are uh, so I was on the tennis team so that was that for me uh, Thursdays again lectures morning in the afternoon we do a GP uh, program throughout the years so uh, the GP, we will have a one GP specified to us and we go in and we'll learn from different cases with them. Uh, and then on the Friday, lectures in the morning and then workshops. Our workshops, we will do an immunology workshop. We could do microbiology. Uh, there's a vast uh, different, loads of different workshops that we do based on whatever block or uh, section we're on. Um, so it's very varied and some weeks are not this busy. Some weeks you'll have private study the whole week, um, so it is very varied, but it's broken up into tiny bits that make it very manageable. Um, so I will go on to the next slide. Uh, Nikki, do you want to talk about your second year? Yeah, of course. So I'm in, yeah, as um, Steph said, I'm in my second year and it's a lot less lecture heavy, which I really enjoy, depending on the university you go to, but usually at PBL and integrated courses, second year is when you start maybe going out onto the wards and in GP practices for placement. So at King's, you do one day a week in a GP and one day a week in the hospital. Obviously with COVID, it's a bit different at the moment. Um, but yes, yeah, so you get to sort of go out onto the ward and reinforce what you're learning about in your lectures and small group teaching into the hospital setting. So for example, at the moment in my lectures, I'm learning about diabetes. And last week in the hospital, I got to speak to patients that have diabetes and understand their sort of journey, getting that diagnosis and how they're being treated. So it's really, um, it's really nice. I think once you start going out into the clinical setting as you tend to do in second or third year, that's when all the sort of pieces of the jigsaw start to fit together and you can make connections between things so yeah it's um that's sort of what second year is like and the same thing Wednesday afternoons are protected so you have the chance to engage in sports or society so I play football at university which is something pre-covid I used to do but um yeah so I'm talking about kings just for people in the chat but diff obviously different unis the structure will differ but I know if you're at Oxford, for example, you won't be on placement until after your first three years. But um, to get the sort of full details, look at each university's website as they'll go into detail of how they structure it for each year. But stereotypically, second or third year um, for most medical schools is when you start getting that hands on experience. Third year, in terms of placements, it kind of steps up a level. So instead of one day a week at your physical health hospital, you now have two days a week. Um, and when you're at hospital, you're genuinely, uh, genuinely, generally um, shadowing the doctors on the ward round. So going <coughs> to meet patients, um, finding out what's brought them to hospital. Um, you are going and taking a history from a patient. So this means finding out why they came into hospital, about their past medical history, what medication they're taking, all of those sort of things. Um, yeah. And one of the really nice things about being a medical student is you have time to spend longer with patients. Um, you have time to ask all these questions um, and most of them will be really happy to to give you these answers we're in a really privileged um, we're privileged as students even that patients trust us and allow us to have these conversations um, and then I'm a bit biased because I love psychiatry um, <laughs> uh, but on Tuesdays at King's um, we have a psychiatry placement for half of the year this is in a community um, setting so i.e patients are 
living at home and just coming in to see the psychiatry specialist or the get their bloods taken because some um, psychiatric medication requires that. Um, and then the other half, you're in a secondary care psychiatric hospital. So I was at the Maudsley, which is like a really famous um, mental health hospital. Um, and yeah, it's, it's that was a great experience. And then, <coughs> Something that we'll move on to talk about later is sort of the skills that are really key to have as a good doctor. Um, and one of the things I think <laughs> is being a good teacher. Um, so we need to teach our patients and explain things in a way so that they understand. Some patients might want a lot of information about their diseases and about their medication. So yeah, I, we have a module called Doctor as a Teacher, um, which is where you learn teaching skills and you have a, a chance to teach some colleagues um something to do with medicine um which is a really good experience um so definitely if you have any tutor tut tutoring experience already if you've tutored you know even not formally if you've tutored a younger sibling a friend um that's something really good to reflect on and then finally on fridays um we have something called a scholarly project which sounds a lot scarier than it is basically an opportunity to um, do a little bit of research and something you're interested in and I think one of the things about research which I didn't understand when I was at school um, I thought research meant you sat in a lab and looked down microscopes which I wasn't interested in at all um, but for my scholarly project I researched the best way to provide primary care for the homeless population so yeah you can literally do anything you fancy 